They're little. Who knows? Now, this is my former supervisor, Ian McDonald, and he said the most reliable diagnostic tool for the diagnosis of MS is the clinical opinion of a good neurologist. And that's still true today, because it's sometimes difficult to diagnose. As I mentioned, the fundamental things is you need to have dissemination in time, more than one episode. Dissemination in space, more than one lesion, and other conditions excluded. Sometimes it's fairly easy, because someone has two stories, and we examine them, we find two problems, we exclude other conditions and we can diagnose it. Quite often, however, someone comes along with one symptom, which we can find, we don't really find too many other things, and sometimes we get an MRI like this, which has got a few little white spots, but they're not characteristic for MS. They could just be like the spots on the back of your hand, a normal finding. So it becomes quite difficult to, for us sometimes to be sure. So occasionally we have to say to someone, look, this is possible MS. Um, but we'll need to repeat your MRI in 12 weeks or do this or do that to exclude other things. Sometimes uh, that's not really uh, any issue in that um, some MS fortunately is very benign and doesn't progress and doesn't change. So watching it doesn't make much difference. But it can create an awful lot of anxiety, uh, particularly in the early time. It also depends on how the MRI is done. So on this MRI, you'll have to trust me on this, it looks pretty normal. But this is the same brain at the same time with a different scan. And you can actually see those little white blobs, they're MS. So if an MRI is done and it's not the right kind to be looking for MS, or maybe not high enough quality, the neurologist may want to uh, repeat it. And we can do different things with the MRI. With the T2 weighted MRI, MS lesions look like little white spots. But a T1 weighted MRI, they can look like little black holes. And we often give the injection of gadolinium contrast, because that can tell us which ones are new and which are old. So these little white ones are recent. They're less than eight weeks old. But that one there, we know is older than eight weeks. So if this was a person's scan, we'd be able to diagnose MS on the first scan. The next question people often ask is, how bad is my MS when you look at the scan? And the truth is, we can't tell, usually, because there's no, it's not a direct correlation between what your scan looks like and what your MS is like. So it's possible to have a scan that only shows one or two spots, but your MS might be affecting you quite severely. On the other hand, you may have a scan that has lots and lots of spots, and you might feel normal. So the, and that's because not all spots are equal. Some spots might be in a very important place, like the spinal cord, and they'll cause a big symptom. Some spots might only be mildly affected, so we can see them, but they're not causing much trouble. But another spot might be severely affected. And some spots, there might not actually be damage, but it might just block the signals, a bit like when you sleep on your arm and it goes to sleep. Uh, and that can recover quite quickly, so you, the person might be back to normal in four weeks. So this is just an anecdote to tell you why we need to follow up scans. So this is a 23-year-old woman whose arm was numb for four weeks. She came along and we um, found this little spot that was causing the arm numbness. And so we uh, arranged to repeat the scan. I might just turn these lights off. And they're not the lights I need to turn off. Brilliant, thank you. So 12 weeks later, the patient comes back, think they're back to normal, not very keen to think about any kind of treatment and a bit suspicious that maybe the diagnosis is wrong. But you can see there's a new lesion right there. And then if we look a little bit higher up, there's a couple of new lesions here and a new lesion there. You can see they're not there. More new lesions.
more new lesions. And more new lesions. So the thing is, you can't tell. You might think you're great and you can't tell and that's why the MRI is done. You know, it's very common for people to think, look, I feel so good, I don't need another MRI. But this is the reason. Because if these spots aren't dealt with and prevented, you don't want your whole nervous system filling up with dots like that. Because they may not cause any symptom in the beginning, but ultimately they will. So without MRI, we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. Most of the business that happens in MS is beneath the surface, and that's why I need the MRI. And it usually happens early when people are well. And prevention is always the best way of dealing with any disease. Once uh, MS becomes fully established,